So for this week's computing activity, I'd like you to have a go at making a simple flipbook animation. Now, I really don't mind um, how you do it. In this case, I'm actually going to use a paper-based option for it. And I've got myself here a notebook. But you could use post-it notes. If you've got a collection of sheets of paper, you could fold them and make a little mini book. All you need, basically, is the ability to be able to draw and uh, to flick the pages along. And you can see here's one I had a go at uh, a few minutes ago. And when you're up and running, you can, um, I recommend that you use uh, a pencil or uh, a Sharpie maybe to help you with your animation. And I recommend that you choose a very simple shape. Now, as simple as I'm just going to choose um, a circle here for a ball. And this ball is going to bounce down hit the ground here and then it's going to squish as balls do a little bit when you hit the ground and then it's going to restore its shape and it's going to bounce up and I'm going to see if I can get it so it bounces quite high and then uh, when it gets to the top it's there for just a moment it comes back down again and then as before when it hits the ground apologies for the background sound effects uh, when it hits the ground it's going to squish down again before it bounces back up again but when it comes back up this time I'm not going to make it go quite so high because as you know if you drop a ball the first, high, first bounce is normally the highest and let's just make it go up two balls this time. And then make it pause when it gets to the top for a moment. Now the good thing is with this, I can actually see, because it's a Sharpie, because it's quite heavy, I can see that it's a tiny bit through the page. So this is the equivalent of onion skinning on the computer, where you can see a little bit of previous frames. So let's just put that one there. Okay, so there we go, that's my first little attempt. Let's just see how it's looking with my ball bouncing. Now, the problem is at the moment, it's just my uh, fingers not working that nicely with the flip box. I'm just going to try and look at it from this angle. Up. So that's my very simple flipbook animation with um, the ball going up and down. And I just need to get myself in the right position so I can flip it nice and smoothly because at the moment it's quite, you see it kind of gets stuck on my thumb there. But you can see what we're aiming for, I hope. So have some fun, see if you can film your final versions for Seesaw.